In this video, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to swap one crypto into another through MetaMask. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever using a crypto swap, even if it's through MetaMask. Aside from that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. If you have more than one account on MetaMask, you'll first need to select the account that you wish to do the swapping out of. To do that, just click right here and then select it from this drop down menu. In my case here, I only have the one account, so I'll be sticking to this account. In the expanded version of MetaMask, you'll find the swap button right here in the middle, but you can also find it if you come right up here to the Fox icon, give it a click, and you'll find it right here as well. So we'll just go ahead and give swap a click. And MetaMask might be giving you a little pop up here, letting you know that they now have smart swaps for the Ethereum network, which can minimize transaction costs, reduce transaction failures, eliminate stuck transactions, as well as prevent front running. Smart swaps will submit your transactions privately, but you can opt out in advanced settings at any time. And if you want to learn more about this, you can click right here. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just click on enable smart swaps. At the time of recording, this is only available on the Ethereum network, but I imagine in the near future, they'll be adding this to other networks as well. If at any point you want to opt out of the smart swaps, just come up here to this little cog wheel, give it a click, and you'll see a button right here where you can toggle smart swap on and off by simply clicking on it. In this box right here, we can choose the crypto that we wish to swap by clicking right here. Then choose it from this drop down menu or you can search for it in the search bar up above. For this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and click here on Tether. Next, choose a token that you wish to swap into by clicking right here. Then choosing it from this drop down menu or searching for it in the search bar. So for this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just select Ethereum. Now I've set up the swap to swap USDT into Ethereum. Next, choose how much of the token that you wish to swap. You'll be able to see your available balance right here, so you know exactly what you're working with. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just type in 20 USDT. Then MetaMask is going to start fetching quotes. And as you can see, MetaMask has fetched a quote for me and is displaying it down below. And you can see right here, the estimated gas fee for this swap is going to be $19 worth of Ethereum. Remember, gas is always paid out of the native token for the network that you're doing the swap in. So in this particular situation, I'm using the Ethereum network. So my gas fee will be paid out of the Ethereum balance that I hold in my MetaMask wallet. And as you can see, the fee is very high at $19. And this is why using either a layer two like the Arbitrum network or using an entirely different network altogether can be beneficial. When the Ethereum network gets congested, the gas fees can be quite high. So obviously I'm not going to pay a $19 gas fee to swap 20 Tether into Ethereum. So let's go ahead and do a swap using a different network. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the back button right here. And we'll come up here and we'll click where it says Ethereum mainnet. Then choose a network that you wish to do a swap on. If you need to learn how to add networks to MetaMask, I do have a MetaMask step-by-step -step beginners tutorial and I cover how to get that done. So I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and choose the BNB chain. Next, I need to choose the token that I wish to swap by clicking right here and choosing it from this drop-down menu or searching for it in the search bar up above. You'll see your available balances up at the top of the list here. So for this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just leave this on BNB. Next, I need to choose the token that I wish to swap into by clicking right here and selecting it from this drop down menu or searching for it in the search bar up above. If you don't find the token you're looking for in this drop down menu or when you do a name search for it, it could mean one of two things. One, you might have to paste the address of the token into the search bar, or it's also possible that the token isn't supported on the chain. To find the token's address, you can often get that done by going to a website like CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. So I'll quickly bring CoinGecko into frame like so. What you would do is you come up here to the search option and you'd search for the token that you wish to do the swap with. For this demonstration, I'll just do USDT. Once you find the token that you're looking for, go ahead and give it a click. And then on this page here, come over where it says contract and you'll find three little dots right here. Just go ahead and give that a click. Then you'll get a drop down menu of all the different networks that the token is supported on. And you can see right here that Tether is supported on the Binance chain. So what you would do is you'd click on these little boxes like so. Then we'd come back over here to MetaMask and we'd paste the address in like this. And as you can see, Tether comes up right away. So if you don't find your token in that drop down menu, 
You can always visit a site like CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap to find the contract address. If you don't find the contract address over there, it's likely that the coin isn't compatible with the network. So I'll just go ahead and click on Tether here. Now I need to choose how much BNB I wish to swap into Tether. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just type in something like this. Now MetaMask is giving me a quote down below here. And as you can see, the estimated gas fee is only 18 cents of BNB. So a big difference from the Ethereum network. And MetaMask is letting me know that the max fee I'll pay is 21 cents for this. Also take note that MetaMask will charge a 0.875% fee for completing these transactions. So this is looking good to me. So I'm just going to come down here and click on swap. And transaction complete. So I can close this out. And now you can see the tether right here. Now, if I'd like to swap this tether back into BNB or another token, I can come back up here, click on swap, click right here where it says BNB, click on tether. And now I can swap tether into another token by clicking right here. And just for fun, let's go ahead and do some chain link. Now I'll choose how much tether I wish to swap into link. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just click on max. And now MetaMask is giving me a quote down below, letting me know my estimated gas fee is going to be 20 cents of BNB and that the max fee that I'll incur is not 0.24. This looks fine to me, so I'll come down here and click on swap. As you can see, the link will be added to my account once this transaction has processed. And transaction complete. So I can close this out. And as you can see, link has been added to my wallet and you can see my balance of link right here. If I want to swap link into BNB, I can come back up here, click on swap, click on BNB, click on link. Now we'll click here on token. I'll choose Binance coin. I'll go ahead and do max. And I'll come down here and click on swap. Transaction complete, close it out. And as you can see, my link just got swapped back into BNB. And there you have it. That's how you can swap one crypto into another through MetaMask. Don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also feel free to check out my other MetaMask tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.